a really a big big pleasure for us it's a big experiment even uh, about that that our english is not very very bad <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, I but think it's, but it's like I think also it's enough, yes. we, we, we make sort of space in that moment because people which don't speak really English and they are also part of this mega event. It's like also we, we cross a border. I feel this is uh, only to say yes. that uh, you feel how we feel now. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we think also it's enough good that you can understand our passion in our work. So Okay. Let's start. The power of art outside of the museum. Patrick and me, uh, we studied art in Zurich and Berlin. And uh, we, we uh, execute uh, art uh, topics since 15 years. And uh, we did a lot of experience. And uh, one experience uh, we had three years ago. And this experience uh, changed our mind in a completely way. But before uh, we had this experience, we were a normal artist. We, we did exhibitions in galleries, in museums. And then one day we realized that uh, we are not really happy. That means we feel that our work is not there where she should be. And also the effectivity, the power, it was very low. Nobody is speaking a lot in a museum hall. Well, everybody is a little bit quiet and he looks and maybe he understands something. But for us it was always to realize they understand more mystery than something else. It's like a big mystery for us. <coughs> and then we, we, we change a little bit our behavior and maybe we can bring this with this principal statement at the point. We are sure that, uh, or we believe that uh, to bring art to life where we least expect it, the power could have the most uh, potency to change something, to realize something, to have something for the society, for the life for the, from the people. And second, to disturb something, to disturb something which is not connected with the art world. And this is what we want to show you, how it works now. But before we start with this experience we, we did three years ago with a specific artwork, maybe we can uh, introduce my, uh, ourselves a little bit more. Yes, Atelier for Sonderaufgaben, it means Studio for Special Works. And uh, while the study, we had this idea to, to uh, found our firm. It's called uh, Art Le Sonderaufgaben. It's a small enterprise between art and other fields, maybe also econom economy. And uh, it was really frustrating to be in the art world, student, and the first exposition. You, are, you have questions from different people, but you, you, you need this network. And it was frustrating in this moment to realize that that the, in the museum for us, for our work, it was a zero feedback. N null. Nobody talked to us, oh, maybe one, two, three person. Yes, it's quite interesting what you do. But we failed completely in the study with painting, with the classical sculpture, etc. So this was our door and our passion could grow up into another uh, world. So, shortly you can say that uh, yes. basically we, we, we are playing with things in our studio for special works as we did in the childhood as kids. Also in the same table, it's, it's maybe a, a, a good picture. And also to go other ways. There we all go, uh, grows now grass. So it's also a, a, a sentence uh, in our mind. So to play with to play with the everyday life, with uh, different societies, and also to to create unusual situations. For example, we can show you one intervention we did uh, eight years ago. It was very important for us. Uh, the title was uh, 
uh, the smallest summit of the world. Uh, we put the smallest villages with its mayors together in Switzerland as a summit, as the opposite of the G8. Okay, next up. Another But example is... Uh, maybe uh, this urban telephone, very short, the idea was to create a new communication line. Maybe today if you could say Facebook on this side and now we have the voice, the voice line. Because a lot of people, it's, it's not a problem to put pictures into the internet. Everybody shows pictures. But if you talk very in a personal way with your voice, then it's, it's completely an, a new situation. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nostalgic uh, situation with this old uh, telephone in the public space. Then an, another work, it was like uh, an attack on the reality. Uh, there was a problem of a city in Switzerland uh, because of the traffic and the walkers, they couldn't go, they couldn't pass the street. So we realized uh, an illegal intervention uh, to show how it works if you work with the problem. The problem could be the solution. Here you see the ambulant architecture of this room of this transit and it is uh, happening uh, uh, within uh, seven minutes and then it's, it's, it's away again. It comes and is there and goes away as it would never be uh, there before. It's like a special room. But this is only to show you how our work now uh, uh, is outside of the museum and the, and the communication is suddenly and a totally other uh, 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 matter. Because in the museum, always author speaks about your work. Because there is a curator or something like this. And in this kind of work, we can communicate. <coughs> and for this, we have uh, this cradle. We think that uh, if you go to the zoo, what happens if the tiger break out to the cage? from the cage. What happens if the artists uh, uh, leave the cage, leave the museum? What happens then? This is our question and, and we feel that uh, if you go to the museum, then you know it's art. But if you maybe are in the everyday life and you Stumped. meet art by accident, maybe the power of this kind of art could be much Uh, higher. This is our uh, credo. This is our experience. Maybe we have to go further mm -hmm. with the Nullstein Hotel. So it, it was really a key work for us. Three years ago, Frank uh, told us uh, it's an art installation and the first zero star hotel in the world in a Swiss nuclear bunker. So what have we done? It's very simple. We just insulated old furniture, maybe the next picture. Uh, old furniture into an empty Swiss nu nuclear bunker and then uh, we, we, we created a new dimension, a new category in the hotelry hospitality business. <laughs> and the funny moment is really that uh, if you do that as artists, you can do this. We, we had this freedom to say, okay, we invent a new range and without asking. And Because we did it, not in the museum, the effectivity was a totally other uh, uh, subject. Uh, this is uh, maybe this is the the, 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 the certified hotel sign uh, that which we did uh, which we put on fr in the front of the door of this hotel, and all these people from the hotel industry. They didn't like this <laughs> because <laughs> because because Nullstern doesn't mean that you gave up on luxury. We we occupied this place of this zero because everybody thinks maybe in this industry, hotel industry, in this direction to have a lot of stars, and we create into the other direction a new category with a brand. We also. Uh, created a trademark, it's a protected, protected trademark, and we say that uh, 
Null Stern is also, means also service. You see there in the first picture the, but the butler, modern butler, we say. Uh, it's a dynamic person. And you see that the, that the, the beds, they are really good done. It's not a bad uh, when you think about the Zeus, the hotel. This is the clue of the Nullstern. We did something in a, in a specific way, and with this we could disturb the existing system of the star classification. Okay. And, and maybe we can show you now this uh, short trailer we did. Uh, before. But we, maybe it's we, too we, much, we, but, we, but yeah, we, we, maybe we can do that also. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very short, but <laughs> we, we are not a theoretical uh, guys. But you, you will see, uh, maybe it's too complicated, the art and the economy. And in the middle we have the gallerist and the museum. And the next picture, we needed 10 years for that. <laughs> it's, so, it's, it, it, it's quite a long time, but now we know where we are. We are just not in the, in the, in the field between these two circles. Uh, so, uh, we are exactly in this point. And the next picture, you will see the reason. Because, one back, mm -hmm. maybe. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see the different uh, uh, fields. And that's, I think, it's the interesting moment. You are not only for the museum made, you are made for all different uh, fields. Education, tourism, etc. And what's the effectivity of the Nullstein Hotel, if you say that? If we done the Nullstein Hotel only in the art context, in the, in the museum, the effectivity would be very small, I'm sure. Because it's, it's maybe a nice statement. But if you do that outside of the system, in the hotelry, then we, we had this experience. It was an explosion. It was a bomb. Because it, it's not normal that art is, is made or produce really new so a, a new uh, kind of reality. So it's, it was our big experience for us, but for another artist maybe it's completely another way, but maybe we, we look now we a short trailer and then we finished our short or long <laughs> presentation. <laughs> okay. yes. One thousand five hundred years ago, the discovery of the zero changed the meaning of all the other numbers. In 2009, the zero enters the hospitality world. In St. Gallen in the Schweiz has a null sterne hotel eröffnet. Art gives the freedom to create something out of nothing. Es ist das weltweit erste Seven million references on Google. Media coverage in 160 countries. And have you ever wondered what a zero star hotel might look like? Reservations for 2012. What we're seeing now is a world where we've got seven star plush luxury in Dubai in the Burj Al Arab and then you've got this at the other end. Worldwide Hospitality Awards nominee, Null Stern. The only star is you. The spirit coming soon to a location near you. Thank you very much. Thank you.